three members of the Jackson family known as the Hawks Flock. He was a 2008 Olympian for the Virgin Islands, much in common with his opponent. He has also built his record largely against limited opposition. So two guys who you have to think are pretty evenly matched tonight here, Steve. I would think so. I can't wait to see Julian J Julius Jackson's his first U.S. Uh, appearance. If he can punch half as far hard as his dad did, he'll be fine. Well, tonight the chef hopes that he gets the right recipe to make it 9-0. and So with that, we are set to get started on this full night of boxing. We take it to the center of the ring for the first time tonight, and the ring announcer, Ray Flores. Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the Little Creek Casino Resort here in Shelton, Washington as Goose in Promotions and Showtime present a big night of action. Your three judges scoring this opening contest are Max DeLuca, Danny Nelson, and Thomas Taylor. The referee in charge when the bell sounds is Jack Reese. We begin the evening 10 rounds scheduled in the super middleweight division. It is being brought to you by Goose Inn Promotions in association with Samson Boxing. Introducing first fighting to my right out of the red corner. He comes in wearing white with red trim. His official weight's 167 and one half pounds. His record includes 20 wins, opposite one defeat, 10 victories coming by way of knockout. From Little Rock, Arkansas, ladies and gentlemen, here is Jonathan, the sensation, Nelson. And his opponent fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing white trunks trimmed with blue. His official weight, 168 and one half pounds. His record, a perfect one, 18 bouts, 18 victories, 14 of those coming by way of knockouts. From the U.S. Virgin Islands, he is a 2008 Olympian. Here is Julius the Chef Jackson. Let's go everybody out, center of the ring, one guy only, one guy only, all right, these are going to, these are going to slide up a little bit, I'm going to let them work in here, mouthpiece, mouthpiece, I gave you both instructions, I just want to remind you, listen and obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, fight hard and clean, good luck to both of you. Good luck guys. With that hat that he was wearing, Julius Jackson looked like the first seven foot super middleweight. You see the numbers here, these are two very tall, very long super middleweights. And with their respective heights and reaches, they could pass for heavyweights, at least the numbers could. The rules here in the state of Washington, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight becomes official after four rounds. Barry. All right, thank you very much. And with wearing that chef's hat in the ring too, he also becomes the first person in boxing to take a toke. We're gonna leave it at that? That's all right. Okay. Good right hand, a little off balance, and still got there. These guys seem similarly matched. Two nice guys. Great to talk to, yeah. Nelson missed the right hand, took a right hand counter punch from Jackson, and another one knocks him off balance. And Jackson jumps it. And I think Nelson's in a little trouble. He takes a knee, that's a no. knockdown. Two, look at me. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, you're getting up. Nine. You okay? Just made it up, Give but he does not look you good. You want to continue. Still trying oh. to clear the cobwebs. You can see that. Boy, Jack Reese saved this fight. He gave uh, Nelson every chance there. Yeah, he did. He did. More than a 10 count. It's not going to take a lot, and there's still a long way to go in this first round. Nelson's eyes are glassy. Yes. But almost more like a deer in the headlights glassy than I'm hurt glassy. I you asked about Jackson's power. I think he showed a little bit in his first round. Most definitely, he showed uh, he's got some of his daddy's power. 
Yeah, and a lot more size. A good right hand came behind a left jab, and again, Nelson covers up. It's still a long way to go, not at the halfway point of this first round yet. Jackson really taking his time, you know, he didn't rush and try to bomb him away after he hurt him. He set up everything off the jab. He don't want to get crazy and run into a shot from Nelson. Good shot body to the body. Jackson doing a good job of keeping a nice distance so he can get his punches off and extend his arms. Yeah, and conversely, Nelson trying to crowd him, and Jackson's not letting him. Yeah, and that's not Nelson's fight. Jackson's a heavy-handed guy. His problem is balance. He rushes in, and he gets on top of himself by leaning in. But so far, in control, and I like the way he's taking the, his foot off the pedal a little bit here. Straight left hand from Nelson, and another left hand behind him. Nelson has, I can't really tell the swelling, but it's reddening under both eyes. No experience for Nelson, never down before. Good body shot again from Jackson. Action first round here. Yeah, Nelson still with that, those glassy eyes. Yeah, he might as well just try to survive this round. Don't get caught with another shot. He already lost the round big. Does seem to have his legs back up right now. Final seconds of round one. And a left hand from Nelson. Oh, stop punching! Hey, you came back real, real strong, baby. Hey. John, take a deep breath, baby. You done took his best shot. You took his best shot. So now you know what, 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 what he got. Action from round one. This happened very fast. It was Nelson throwing himself off balance by missing badly. Takes a right, right in the middle of the face. And right now he's hurt. He's badly hurt. Hard to tell exactly which punch did it. And he ends up on his left knee. Well, that punch didn't help. That fight punch right in the middle of the face. Pretty good. But good follow-up and good aggressiveness by Julius Jackson. Jack Reese gave a nice, slow, long count and said, are you going to get up? Round two, round two, hold up, hold up. Box. So now we're going to see what he's got. In his corner, he heard Ozell Nelson tell him, you've taken his best shot. We'll see. Yeah. A nice communication by Jack Reese, who I rate as one of the very, very best officials, referees I in America. completely agree with you. He made the trip up here. Very good officiating crew, by the way, tonight. Nelson left to the body. And there was that right hand again from Jackson. Yeah, every, th every time he gets at the right range, you can see Jackson's power. That lead right is uh, dangerous. Nelson has the right idea to let Jackson lead, but he's got a counter. Because Jackson will give you chances to counter. See how Jackson rushes in somehow? Uh -huh, he does. His feet are not always in proper position. No, even when he throws a punch, he's got a very long stride. And Nelson's got to be able to time him right. As soon as Jackson throws right there, you cover up, you block, then you come back with a jab, jab, lead. That's the way to counter. But he's weighing too much for the counter. And he's a little bit far off. He's a little bit off distance, Nelson is. Left to the body by Nelson. Nelson's right in the pocket. Bring it up a little bit, John. Which leads me to think he's, he's over that first round knockdown. Good strong jab from Jackson. Watching Julius Jackson on tape, one thing I noticed, he's pretty much a right-handed puncher. Not much of a left hook, something he has to work on. He'll stay on balance better if he throws the right and follows with a left hook. Nelson's punches, just catching the gloves of Jackson. He needs to get a little bit closer. So he's got to work off of that. He then punches, hit the gloves, and he didn't come back with a counter. He needs a hand for Nelson. I think 
Nelson's doing Jackson a favor by, well, right now he's backing up, but he's been coming forward for most of the second round. Right into the punching range, walking onto shots. And Jackson has, just, just has a better jab. He's using the jab by Jackson. Just like his dad, Jackson always thinking about that right hand. Snuck left hand. Just missed it on uppercut. Jackson will occasionally go southpaw. You see, he does it now. That's it. How you feel? And I'm gonna be staying. Listen, yeah, give me a little more defense after you show your shots. Okay. Get me? You got me? A little more defense after you show your shots. Deep breath, deep breath. Yeah. Hey. Action from round two. We've been talking about the right hand of Julius Jackson. Not quite the power of his dad, Julian, who scored so many one-punch knockouts. But you can see that he's always thinking right hand. And with the range he has and the heavy handedness, he can do damage with that don't, right don't, hand. Don't blow your nose. Your eyes swell up. Okay? Three. That's one I haven't heard three. before. Don't blow your nose because your eyes swell up. Yeah, underneath the pockets. So air gets into the pockets under pockets. the eyes. Huh. But there's a tendency to want to blow your nose when it's full. Yeah. <laughs> Ozell Nelson, of course, has worked a lot with uh, Jermaine Taylor over the years. Well, that was a good right hand. And I think that was more trip on Nelson's part than it was that it staggered him. This fight being fought almost solely at long range, and you would expect that with these yeah. two tall guys. And Jackson, uh, open, he opens up. There's openings, but Nelson just can't find him. He's not throwing enough punches. Those are caught mostly on the elbows of Jackson. Through two rounds, Jackson's thrown 70 more punches than Nelson. Good, very accurate. Just missed with Nelson bouncing off the ropes. And I like Jackson going to the body, but because since he's established that he can hurt Nelson upstairs, Nelson's going to protect his chin a little more. Total punches, huge edge for Jackson. Two and a half rounds into this fight. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half rounds into this fight. Excuse me. Nelson's power doesn't do much to Jackson. Jackson just keeps coming forward. You gotta find something to keep the, your opponent away, and Nelson just doesn't have the power for the snap for the shots. Jackson's strong. I mean, you have an idea with a little more technique. Yeah, I think you're right, Barry. I think it's just a matter of him learning the proper distance to throw his punches and to remain patient so he doesn't lean in when he throws. I think once again that flurry got Nelson's attention. And Jackson, you know, he's strong. If he, if he could just sit down yeah. a little bit more on his shots, you know, he's got a problem, a little bit of problem with balance. We've seen that in the past. He needs to keep working on that. Let's see how he boxes uh, from a southpaw stance. Nelson got there with the left hand. Jackson's hands tend to be low after he punches. It's another way that Nelson could catch him. Now he's back to righty, Jackson. Good body shot there. Good strong jab. John, if he makes you duck, you got to go to his body. 
If you duck on you got to grab something, baby. You can't just pop back up. Make it a miss, you got to make, make him pay. Come on, baby. This, got it. this is our world. Got it. This is you. Take a look at action from round three. Another good round for Julius Jackson. You're on the inside one of the only times in the fight. Julius Jackson lets a four-punch combination go. A couple of shots landed. We saw Scotty Smith, the cut man. Jonathan Nelson's corner. It's a name Raul Marquez remembers. About him years ago. You're so humble, Raul. He knocked him out. I don't want to say it. Right. He hasn't forgotten it. <laughs> This is round four. One knocked out of the fight. That was in the first round. How about a few more jabs from Jackson? Huh? Oh, the right hand from Nelson. Yeah. Maybe his best best of the fight. Stop. Nelson Separate. needs to be a little bit on his toes. Move side to side, give him some feints. Jackson is coming forward. He falls in. If he just takes a little step back, comes with a one-two. Jackson will run into that. Now Jackson solely to the body. I don't know if you guys agree, but I look at Nelson. His mouth is open. His eyes are still glassy. It looks like it's around 12, not around 4 or 5. I agree with you. I don't like what I see. Hey, he looks very discouraged. It seems like he's just in uh, survival mode. He's just trying to go the rounds. Good body right. shot there at that right hand, drove him back into the ropes. That's right. Jackson needs to speed up the, the tempo. More combinations, threes and fours, and land the big shot and keep pushing him back. I don't think Nelson wants to fight. See the headshots. Four, uh, four to one. Jackson. Nelson only 16, that's very little. Almost four complete rounds in. Right hand again from Jackson. Good body shot from Jackson. One guy right now is just reeking of confidence, the other guy isn't. He's reeking of tentativeness. Yes. And that's really been the way it's been from round one. And of course, scoring a knockdown in the first round only made Jackson more confident. Sets the tone. That jab on him. Now Nelson stepping up the pace a little bit. Nothing damaging. That left hand caught Nelson on the way in. Yeah, couldn't tell if Nelson's right hand landed or not, but Jackson's hands are very low. And Julius Jackson's been past six rounds only once in his career. Jonathan Nelson scored a lot more rounds as a pro. Final seconds of round four. Stop punching, nobody punch. You just give him that one, man. All right? Come on, don't make it, hey, don't give nothing, man. Deep breath. Hey. The only one you give me is your chase. Deep breath, deep breath. You ain't sure, bro. That's number five. Number five, deep breath. What are you doing? How you feeling? You in control, brother. You in control. That's it. Good work, baby. Nice and relaxed. Listen. Don't reach, man. And some, like, don't follow him. Cut him. All right? Don't get lucky, like, there's your defense inside. Look at the cooker inside, you know Look for the upper cut. They did all the time. Yeah. Catch him. How are you feeling? Okay, keep that jab going, go, please. Man. Okay, that's it. That's your fight. That's your, that's your fight. Number five. Number five. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mark. So we're coming to round five of this 10 round fight. Kind of tough to find a round to score for Nelson. It was. I thought that last one was as close Closest. as he's been. I agree. 
Well, Jackson's let, landed 50% of his power shots. It's always a formula for victory. We want Jackson to work that uppercut. He just did throw it. Took a left hand from Nelson when he's backing up. Yeah, Jackson needs to change up his combination a little bit. It confused Nelson. You see, he throws a good one, two. The lead, he changes it up. Throws it up and down. Good jab. Fowler's come up the middle. Lean back, throw it. Lead uppercut. There you go. There's an uppercut. Wow. Not too much power behind it. Though. Let him go, Nelson. Let him go. Gotta find openings. He's gotta let his hands Nelson, go. let that right arm go. Pull it out, Jackson. Pull it out. Good side shot from Jackson. And a good left hand from Jackson. Nelson's landed to the body as well, but you notice he only throws to the body after he takes one to yes. the body. He's got to be a little more proactive. And as the rounds mount, Julius Jackson's hands, to me, are getting lower and lower. A long right hand there. I think there are opportunities for Nelson. He's not taking them. Yeah, he's not taking advantage. Every time he, he throws Jackson, you see, he puts his hands up. See, his hands are loaded. Double right hand for Jackson. Right hand to the body is low. And left hand for Nelson is low. Nelson's guard is pretty high up. Nice frame defense. He's not countering out for Jackson's shots. He's had many opportunities. Yeah, I think that's exactly uh, that's exactly it, Robert. Because Julius Jackson will give you opportunities. He's always on the attack. His hands are low. And again, he's got a strong he's got a strong jab and he's been keeping it on, Nelson. I think that's been the key, that long jab, solid jab by Jackson. And Nelson not jabbing enough. Yeah, I think a point that you made earlier, Steve, Nelson is looking to counter and then he's hesitant when he has the opportunity. Yeah, I think that's the lack of confidence we're seeing. Jackson Southpaw again. Final five seconds of round five. And we look at the numbers. Dominant jabs. Jackson, not a high percentage, but 45 to 8. And the power shots, all Jackson. Not enough punches landed or thrown by Nelson to be competitive. And I got him down five rounds to zip with that one round. The first round, 10-8 for Julius Jackson. As do I. I agree. And it all started in round one for Julius Jackson. This really set the tone for what we've seen since. Left hook, Nelson gets off balance, throwing his own left hook. Again, a wild left hook, and then he's hurt. And now his legs are failing him. We see a knockdown very shortly after that. This is round six, a fight that uh, through our eyes has been dominated by Julius Jackson. Well, Jonathan Nelson's problem when he moved up previously, he fought Brandon Gonzalez lost every round. So far, he's losing every round in this fight. Nelson got Jackson turned, but to no avail. Jackson comes back off the ropes, the left to the body, and the right to the head. See how Nelson crowds him. He gets hurt, and then he crowds him. Throws a couple of body, body shots, but just not enough. Doesn't have the right attitude just by looking at him. Did that right hand hurt him? I think it might have. He's backing up now. Jonathan Nelson, not much of a puncher. 10 KOs and 20 wins. And a lot of that against subpar opposition, I might add. 
Now for a moment, Jackson oh, could step that was mostly on the shoulder. But he took a step back and he caught him coming in. That's what he has to do. That was a right hand left behind it by Nelson. Easily Nelson's best round so far. By far. Just missed with that overhand right. There was a good right hand from Nelson. And could it be that Jackson is starting to get down toward empty? Well, we'll see if he can follow up, but sometimes when you just hang in there during tough moments, good things happen later in the fight. Well, by far, as you said, the best round of the fight for Jonathan Nelson. But he's so far behind, he needs this and maybe a knockdown or two in the second half of the fight. Oh, good right hand again. Jackson against the ropes. There's an uppercut from Jackson, but didn't have a lot on it. Jackson doesn't seem particularly disturbed by what's happened. Same look on his face. There was a left hand from Jackson. Yeah, but Jackson is not, he's not throwing it on. Good right hand from Jackson after a couple of body shots. Another good right hand from Jackson. He took a right hand. Pretty good counter right hand from Nelson. Nelson working the room a little bit here. Hey. Robin. What? Wata Wata. Come on, let's go. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Good work. Good work, baby. Hey, you're making this fight harder than it should be, DJ. Hey, I want, I want better defense inside, man. I don't stay inside. We take a look at round six, a turnaround in this round. All of a sudden, Jonathan Nelson, whose big punches have been flying over the head of Jackson, have been short, started to land. There's the counter punch Raul and I have been asking for all fight long. He finally threw it, he finally landed it, and throughout this round, Nelson landed big right hands. Hard to tell if Jackson was ever hurt, but clearly the first round on the side of Jonathan Nelson. Now we'll see if he can double up on it, but I agree with you, he's likely going to need a knock, at least a knock down. And interesting, the show stats tell us Jackson actually outlanded Nelson in round 6, 21-18. But the clear, cleaner punch is definitely landed by Jonathan Nelson. Can Nelson build on it, guys? That's the question. That is the question. Oh, left hand. He needs to keep that momentum going like he did in the last round. His confidence was up high and he needs to keep that going. Throw hard punches. Yeah. I give him a lot of credit. This is a guy who failed the only other time he came, uh, moved up in class. This is a step up. It was a dreadful start. Dreadful first half of the fight for him, and he's still in it. Right shot and a right hand over the top by Nelson. Stop, stop, stop. Keeps catching him. Nelson keeps catching him with that counter right. Oh, he's got to take a little step back, and he's going to catch Jackson coming in. He's coming in forward with no head movement. Giving him no head movement as he comes in. Some swelling under the left eye of Nelson. It's about a four punch combination, unanswered. He's working, Jackson's working. And more points, three and four punch combinations. He's looking, he's looking for the openings. That creates openings. Keeps the other guy thinking. That's why he's not throwing. Oh, nice. Good right hand. Jackson's got to learn to keep his hands up, both before he punches and after he punches. Yeah, it is interesting when you start rolling through opponents. And it's pretty loud if you can ring that loud, please. Bad habits. Sure. 
And you know, we talk about conditioning and jabs and power. Oh, there was a big right hand. And Nelson covers up. I think what's winning this fight for Julius Jackson is confidence. He's had it from round one. And that swelling over the left eye of Nelson is getting worse. Actually, under the left eye. Quite an impressive comeback round for Julius Jackson. Much better round for Jackson. Well, still a lot to come from here in Shelton, Washington. Here is a look at Julian Williams, another bright prospect, 17-0, trying to make it an 18-0 tonight against a last-minute substitute, but a guy who's pretty intent, I think, Jamar Freeman. Julian Williams on the short list of everybody's favorite prospect, and we've seen him a lot on Showtime, specifically Show Extreme. These look great every time out. For the one shot, I get one. Very good. That one, good. hey, that one, good. hey. Hey, we mash up. Tie up. But you got him, you got him, baby. Don't get careless, man. You been getting careless? You know. Hey, I don't want no round like that. Right. Don't, know, don't bring me no round like that, John. Come on, get out, please. Hold up, hold up. Number eight. Box. There's Al Nelson saying, don't bring me another round like that. And the reason he said that, Nelson threw 15 punches in round seven after winning round six. Right hand again, short right hand to Jackson. And that time Jackson walked into a right hand from Nelson. Didn't take a backward step, though. Nelson doesn't have much time left. He needs to make something happen here. You're right, Raul. I want to see a sense of urgency from him. He loses this fight. Where is he at in his career? Julius Jackson's on the way up. Nelson's going to be in nowhere's land if he loses this fight. Ron, it's going to take a lot, I think, for him to win it. Yeah, and you see the show stats from last round. Not that Jackson was that busy. He still outlanded Nelson 18 to 5. A little second wind here for Julius Jackson. Could be, huh? Could be a wake up call that sixth round was not the best for him. Very busy here in the last round and in this round. Yeah, he's got a nice little rhythm going. He's uh, really relaxed. Throwing these nice combinations. Uh, Doing well in this round. He strikes me as a guy who's got the goods. It's just a, not a finished product yet. Well, it's going to take more fights like this, more experience. So far, I think uh, he, he's doing well. You know, he's, he came back off that round that he lost. I think he got hurt. Yeah, by his own admission, he came to boxing late. He said I, he was the mama's boy, really. He always liked to cook, and that's still what he does. He mentioned earlier he graduated from the Culinary Academy in West Palm Beach, Florida. He's very serious about it. Julian Jackson says his son John, who's a junior middleweight, fought Andy Lee recently, is a more talented fighter. But Julius has the big heart. He's the pure fighter. More of the same, we saw Jonathan Nelson have a bad round in seven when he was inactive. Same thing here in eight. I don't think Nelson's thrown any punches in this round. Not doing much. Oh, oh. And slip through and that hurt Nelson is down. Four, look at me. Five, you okay? Six, seven, eight, nine. Are you okay? Can you continue? Give me your gloves. Box. Second knockdown of the fight at the bell. Hey, do you want me to stop this fight? Huh? What's the water on his head? Huh? Nine, it's, it's round, round nine. You ain't doing nothing, son. 
Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to stop this fight. You, you, you hear me? I'm going to stop this fight if you don't show me something. Changed that round. He's totally dropped his output and just got dropped pretty hard. You tell me. John, do you want me to stop this fight? What do you say? We're going, we're going, we're going to see how this other round goes. Hey, John, you got to bring it, brother. You got to protect yourself. Hey, you, you ain't going to walk around and get hit with crap. Do something. We take a look at the second knockdown of this fight. It happened the right hand to Wobbles Nelson. Basically, it was a one punch knockdown. Yeah. See the look set up by the jab, and that jab has allowed Jackson to control this fight. And Papa Jackson loves it. Why not? He's seen it a lot. Oh, what he did to Terry Norris. Oh, it still hurts. Yeah. So they told Nelson. Incidentally, I thought another good Jack was again doing a very smart thing. I'm in the corner, making sure the fighter's okay. He's not going to go far with this. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. He's going to stop that's right it. now. That's it. Well that's stopped. It. Tremendous that's job it. by Jack Reese. It. And it's over just like that. There's a case of referee now that's allowing it. a fighter to get it. Yeah, and the referee paying attention to the subtle things. There's a little dance move there that Nelson did, and that was enough given what happened last round. Beaten fighter, and he knows it. Very popular figure in his name, Little Rock. Works with youth groups. Very well known around town. Julius Jackson is a guy I'd like to see again. I, I think we all agree that there's work to be done. Defensively, he's not that great, but defensively, defensive weaknesses make him a fun fighter to watch. Yeah, and the one thing you can't coach is power, and he seems to have that inherently. And he looks like he wants to fight. What do you think, Raul? Yeah, it's power. It's it's amazing because if you saw when he hit him with them last shots, it was kind of like a little delayed reaction from Nelson. And uh, that's the power that you don't see. And, it, you know, showed a lot of progress. Yeah, U.S. debut for Julius Jackson. He's rated in the top ten of a couple of alphabet organizations, though I'm not sure why because his quality of opposition has not been that good. But this is a good win. Yeah, I think so too. We'll make it all official now. We're going to Ray Flores, the center of the ring. Official announcement, Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 28 seconds of the ninth round. The referee in charge, Jack Reese, waves off this contest for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Julius the Chef Jackson. Well, the chef did a pretty good job. Does he look like a chef there or a representative of the Vatican? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he looked pretty good in the ring doing whatever he chooses to be. He did a pretty good job in there tonight. Here's the numbers, Steve. Yeah, again, he kept, Jackson kept that 50% power connect rate. That'll win you a fight every time out, 40% overall. And look at the difference in numbers. Almost, uh, four, almost 500 punches by Jackson, only 200 in nine, uh, Nine plus rounds, and a couple of knock, couple of knockdowns to go with it. Yeah, it was the right hand. I talked about how you don't see too many really good left hooks from Julius Jackson. He relies on that right hand, the jab in the right hand. That's what got Nelson in trouble in the first round, put him down to one knee. And we have to remember this fight almost ended right here in the first round. And then round eight, more of the same. Watch the jab followed by the right hand. Nelson just simply couldn't take it. When Nelson landed his right hand, nothing happened. Now watch how Nelson moves here. Left hook, another left hook, and he's wobbling all over the place. And Jack Reese, great job because Julian ja Julius Jackson could have landed one more punch and Nelson would have been on his butt. Absolutely, absolutely. Well done by Julius Jackson. And, uh, another guy that we're going to see. I, I mean, he, I like his power, and he does it without really being set down on his punches, and that's all stuff that could be learned. His dad will show him that. All right, we're just getting started here at the Little Creek Casino in Sheldon, Washington. Still three fights to come, including our main.